A lot of my songs actually thinking about it from dreams, fragments of dreams. I heard Ray Charles on a jukebox in 1959. Night time is the right time, and ooh, that sound was fine. Miles Davis Blue, kind of blue, a bittersweet refrain. And I never heard a saxophone played as wild as young Train. This is the singer's tale. And it's not a sort of palaver about celebrity and red carpets and all of that. It is about a life. So I'll begin with the beginning, which was my mother fucked somebody and I was born. Hey, fiddly dee, a singer's life for me. Once upon a time, there was a girl who was born in 1944 in South East London. Yeah, me. It was the last year of a war. Bombs were falling from the skies, there were no bananas, and the wireless was the music and the word. Morning. Morning. Hello, seagull. I didn't realise until I had to move from my flat in Deptford how much of my identity I had placed in the pot called London. I love it. Walking along the river, anywhere by the river, I love. There's something utterly, utterly calming about being near a proper river or by the ocean or the sea. I think it's in our, it's in our DNA. And I imagined all the places around our beautiful coastline, right round from the Thames Estuary, all the way up, round the top of Scotland and the Orkneys and down to the Hebrides and down and all the way round and back to the Thames Estuary. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My mother had me, illegitimately. She didn't want me. Oh, that's better. Tried to have me adopted. Anyway, that didn't happen. It went from bad to worse when her stepfather appeared. Consequently, I went to many different schools and came out the other end at 15, very rebellious. I was so angry and hurt and upset, but I didn't know why. I didn't have the means or the education to deal with it. Having been raised for 15 years where there was no love, I crave love. Mummy Wireless and Daddy Thames. I've always felt that the Thames and listening to the radio or the wireless I sort of feel I was brought up by those things. <laughs> wow, look at that. I have a feeling that I'd like my ashes scattered in the Thames. When you leave school just before you're 15 and you've had no real constant guidance, you have to grow up rather quickly, consequently, it's a bit fractured, so you can be a bit daft sometimes. So finding, for me, finding my tribe was hugely important. I've moved a lot. I've lived in many, 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 many places. I always came back to London like a little pigeon, as I say. So I've ended up here, and I have a feeling that maybe this is my last post. And if I feel pissed off and lonely for my river, I walk down the Lees, I look out to sea and I think, <sighs> When I was about 13, 14, I had mutism. I didn't speak. Nobody believed anything I said, and so I didn't speak. A few years later, I was in a pub in Hastings 
and music started and I thought I want to sing so I burst forth and it just felt so good and I hung on to that core of, of this little kernel of wow you know this feels amazing I wanted to be a beatnik or a bohemian and so I trailed in the wake of older beatniks and bohemians and ended up in Hastings and I was in this pub in the old town and there was going to be a session harmonicas guitarists it was fantastic and then this guy Big Mac looked at me and said you want to sing I had never sung in my life I said yes what do you know they said I thought and thought house of the rising sun I said in E he said E offers over 475 bloody hell I chose the name Grimes when I was 24 and I was signed up by the Robert Stigwood organisation as a, as a management and they of course had the Bee Gees and Eric Clapton. At the time I had on my passport Freeman and they said to me Freeman isn't a very show busy name. Now there I was with the freedom to choose the most glamorous of names, and I don't know why I chose Grimes, but I did. Who is Carol Grimes? Who is Carol Hicks? Who is Carol Smart? Who is Carol Hribovich? Bollocks. <laughs> well, when I lived in Deptford, I used to sometimes run down to the river when I needed sustenance, and you could smell the tide on the turn, and you could almost smell the sea, and I, I used to love that. At home me is not a mess exactly but very confused and quite shy and struggles to even go out of the door sometimes. So I have what I call my work hat, and when I'm running a workshop or running a choir or doing a gig, that is possibly when I, when I am at my strongest. I always felt less than, not intelligent, not bright, you can't possibly write, nobody's gonna take you seriously. And so singing at first, felt like this was the one thing I could do that was creative and physical and made me feel good. It gave me a voice. Whoopsie daisy, what do you know? Ooh, she thought, I don't, my mind's gone blank. And then she remembered. I found writing things down quite healing. And then it became a book. I don't think I would be here if I hadn't found, for me, my creativity and allow myself to indulge in that creativity. It has saved my life. Basically, most of Chagall's pictures, I would like to live there and not here. I'd like to live in his land. And one of them is called The Dance. And I started writing down, just looking at the, the painting in a book and writing down this, Dizzy as a dancer. She answers only to the call of her body. Metamorphosing into a butterfly, she's wild and speechless. A whirlpool of movement and light, dizzy as a dancer. If I could choose, I will be living under a round yellow sun where a red fiddler stands with a ring in his nose and a blue violin tucked under his chin. Let the music begin. I will be a green golden girl long hair, seashells for a necklace. I have flowers for the fiddler, afloat on the winds of the dance. I am a tipsy gypsy, twisting and turning, let the joy dance begin. A painter arrives on a sunbeam, a violet cockerel in his arms. Giddy bird, twirling and whirling, dancers dance and lovers entwine. There is no time, only golden time. Never again to return to the greys of familiar days. Let me drown here, be seduced here, stay forever in the mystery, eternally dancing the dance. And then it became this. 
I imagine that we had never agreed to go our separate ways. I'm not drowning in water, my boy. I have to make music, but I never found my sense of belonging. I'm flying in heavenly moments. And I think I'm suffering the plight of many people as they age being sort of pushed aside. And it is grieving me more than most people will ever know. One you assume is lost. Dizzy wants to die. For me, life is this, this juxtaposition of the beauty of our planet and the creative work that human beings on our planet have produced with the cruelty. And I think, how can this be that it's so dark on one side, so unfathomably cruel and so beautiful as well? A ring in his nose. When you're dead, you're dead. You're brown bread. Enjoy the ride. Across the evening sky, all the birds are leaving. But how can they know it's time for them to go before the winter fire? I will still be dreaming. I have no thought of time. For who knows where the time goes? Who knows where the time goes?